Hello and welcome to the channel. Innovation has no limit. Just other day, I was thinking as how to embed Google's Gemini models, but by using OpenAI compatible APIs. At the moment, it is not really possible. So that is why when I stumbled upon this nifty little free utility called as Gemini OpenAI proxy, I was immediately intrigued. And that is why in this video, I am going to show you how to get this thing installed locally and then how to create Gemini OpenAI proxy. But before that, let me try to explain what why exactly I think this is so useful. Now, the thing is that Google's Gemini models especially um, really are very, very cool when it comes to 1 million token context window because that is ideal for use cases like long form chats, creative writing and handling large code bases. Google also provide quite generous usage limits for free users with their API and you can get it here on their um, Google AI Studio and I will drop the link in video's description too. It's a free API which you can get and you get a lot of free credits with that. Now, one of the problem there is that there is no native OpenAI API compatibility with Google's API, which makes really challenging when it comes to integrate integrating this into your existing application or integrating it with many open source tools which are which have become norm at the moment. For example, if you want to integrate it with Open Web UI, which supports Olama, you won't be able to do it with Google's Gemini models. You would have to write a lot of Python wrappers or your own classes in order to accomplish that. So instead of going that way, what if you could just do it out of the box with tools like this Gemini OpenAI proxy. So by using same familiar OpenAI compatible APIs, you can simply use Google's model by using this utility. That is the whole idea around this. Yes, there are a few paid tool, uh, tools like Open Router and few others, which uh, but you have to pay them or if you get any free tier, that is very, very limited and the cost can really become quite high if you are, are deploying it in your busy application. So if you want to take advantage of a 1 million context window of Google's model um, by using their free API, I think this is a good tool, Gemini, Gemini's OpenAI proxy. Now, this is not the only tool which does that. There are a few other tools which are already doing that. For example, there is Zo 327's excellent Gemini OpenAI proxy. But the problem with that is that it only deals with LLMs. It doesn't deal with embedding models. For embedding models, there are a few other tools. So if you want to build an end-to-end -end AI application, you would have to use multiple tools. But what this new tool, Gemini OpenAI proxy does, it supports both embedding models and the large language model so that you could build, build both chat and embedding capabilities in your applications. So this is really good benefit that not only you have this OpenAI compatible access to Google's model at no cost, and then you can get support for chat completion and embedding model. Also, deployment seems quite easy to me just through Docker. So make sure that you have Docker installed on your local system and then you should also get an API key from Google's AI Studio for free. So you would need to just go to this ai.google.dev, sign up with your Google account, and then click on this blue button, get API key in Google AI Studio, or you should be able to get your free API key. I already have that. So let me take you to my terminal, and then we are going to get it installed and see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute, who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so let me quickly take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM and that is NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. To keep everything separate, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just calling it Gproxy and let's step into that environment by activating it and that is all done. Let me 
clear the screen now next up uh, let's um, install it by simply using docker and let me also quickly show you my docker version so this is my docker version it is pretty recent so make sure that you already have the recent version if you don't know how to install docker i already have done heaps of videos so please just search the channel and you should be able to find it and now in order to deploy it all you need to do is to run this command docker run and restart unless stopped and then we are just simply mapping the ports here and then calling this image and the first time you are going to run it it is going to download all the layers which it has done and then it has downloaded the newer image so that is all you needed to do another thing which you might if you get an error while running this make sure that you have run this command before which sets a permission to this sock file of a docker now let me clear my screen and since this is a proxy so you would need to make an api call in order to use it and it is running on your local host as we mapped the uh, port now you can use curl command you can use postman or you can simply call it from your application in and the way you would call it is like this you would need to call this endpoint which is compatible to openai and that is the beauty of it but even with the openai is compatible endpoint what we are doing here is we are calling gemini the google's model with this prompt and then we are setting the hyperparameter temperature to 0.7 and this is where and the bearer token we are giving our api key i have just created this temporary api key which i am going to uh, delete after the video and then this is how you call your open um, a compatible proxy but primarily you are calling the google's model and once you call it you will get a response back and if your um, this token will be wrong or this any issues with that you will get an error here or something accessed an end or something like that but you can see that for now it has run fine so as i said earlier you can use um, postman or any other api and uh, tool in order to call this proxy and you can not only use this you can use embedding models which will be something like this let me go here you see so here i am just using the same open as compatible api endpoint but with embeddings instead of completions and then I am giving it my API key, embedding model, and then any random input text. And once you run it, you can see that it has created a lot of embeddings there, the numerical representation or vectors of the text which I gave. And this is the model it called. And then it is giving you some other random information. Also, you can even call the vision model, the Google's Gemini Vision Pro model easily. And sky is the limit there. So the best thing is that you don't have to change your application any existing one if it is already using open ai compatible api so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this tool really hats off to the creator who has done this wonderful work and this open source free just shared it in the github and i will drop the link in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.